Welcome to DisplayAds.info. We've had um, people get in touch that are interested into understanding what we're doing for our keyword research process. So um, I'm just going to run this through now. So this video will be an instructional video giving information on how we do our keyword research. So we do have a DisplayAds.info. We do have a keyword research guide, which basically shows you the strategy that we've been using. Um, so everything is documented in here. It's long form. It's in detail. I recommend that you have a look at this. So there's kind of two strategies um, which I'm going to talk through around keyword research. One of them is looking at your competitors, which is um, a very easy but highly accurate way of identifying possible keywords to work on. And another one is when you already know the kind of topics that you want to work on, is doing the individual keyword research on those terms and building it out from there. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start with competition then as an example. So um, for this uh, article, we use the example of looking at um, a competition if you're going to start a watch blog. So if you go to Google and if you have a look through and get the understanding for what some of the main competitors are in a, in a watch blog, you'll come across a blog to watch as an example. If we have a look at this website, um, this is something that uh, appears to be something that's, that's relatively well known. Um, and seems to be doing well, lots of content, uh, traffic appears to look decent. If we look at it in something like SimilarWeb, just to get an idea for where it's at traffic wise, we can straight away, we see it's up in the millions. So this is something that's worth pursuing. What we'd do then, we'd have a look at it. Um, I'm gonna be using Hrefs for this. You can use SEMrush, you can use uh, any kind of pay tool that you want. Um, this is something, uh, I prefer the Hrefs stuff, but it's each to their own really. If you are taking your content websites seriously and you're not using a paid tool, um, it's just something you're going to have to swallow. Basically, Ahrefs costs about $100 a month, um, but it, you know you can't really do the job without it, to be honest. So, looking at this website, so it ranks for 315 organic keywords, and it's um, pulling organic traffic of around 285,000 a month. Um, so it's a very substantial website and it's got lots of keywords, which is the interesting thing that we want to look at here. Um, we're going to wait for this to load. This will show us a graph of how the organic traffic has been coming in over time. So as you can see, for the last like seven years, this website has been pulling decent traffic. It's gone up and down over time, most likely with uh, Google algorithm changes, etc. So this website is currently pulling a good amount of traffic just from organic search. So this doesn't include social traffic, doesn't include, include referral traffic or direct traffic, just social. So the, the website itself could be getting a lot more traffic apart from this. Uh, so if we were then gonna build a new uh, niche website in the, in the uh, watch niche, uh, another thing to consider is the, the main authority of this, of this website. So they've got a huge um, amount of referring domains pointing back to it, huge amount of authority. Can we compete with it one-on-one uh, -on -one with a brand new site? Uh, not really, it, uh, we're, they're all gonna, always gonna outrank us for the terms, but can we create some content around it? Is there much competition aside from these? So the uh, we can get a good steer for the keywords that this site ranks for, uh, and then decide whether or not we wanna create content for it. So all you really need to know is everything I've, I've said there, and then looking at top pages in Ahrefs here. Uh, it can be quite a confusing tool for newcomers, but uh, if if all we have to know is this top pages section, then you, you're kind of in business, really. What we can do, we can look at all the pages on a blog to watch, and we can look at the estimated traffic that they receive, and also the top keyword that pulls in um, from from organic search from Google, and then the, the volume for that keyword, and it also shows the ranking for us. So this will show lots and lots of pages, uh, let's get the actual figure on it. So, where we are. so 11,000 pages. We could actually filter this information. So, if we look at all pages that are pulling uh, from 400 views a month upwards, and then filter that. So, the center shows us 112 pages, which is pulling more than 400 page views a month. Um, which then allows us to concentrate in. So we can look at this and then we can look at the keywords that it's ranking for on the right hand side. So uh, if say if we're building a new site and we want to look get topic ideas or keyword ideas, we can run down this. All of these are going to be good volume. So Casio G-Shock Smartwatch. So it's a fairly long 
tail keyword, 900 searches a month. Um, that's pretty good. This site's still pulling good traffic off that. Uh, so what I'm looking at here is rather than going for top level things like Rolex, Air King as an example, let's look for something that's a bit longer. Uh, so kind of lesser popular brands as an example. So going for some of those, people are creating less content around that. Um, that's kind of a top level one. So I'd obviously Pilot Watch, that's something that we struggle to get to the top of the ranking for. But if you went for something like they go Richard Mille school watch price. That's something that's highly exact for what, what the search intent is for. We could create content for that. Um, and it goes on. Let's continue having a look through. You can see the traffic comes down to about 700 uh, clicks at the moment, but I'd still, I'd still be very happy to go for that. Um, so an exact, very specific term there. So Rolex Explorer 2, then 16570. Still a thousand searches for that, and that's a very specific search term. Uh, this site is ranking number two for that. I'd be interested to have a look at something like that. Um, uh, that could be a good one. Most expensive uh, Patek Philippe watches, 700 searches a month. Fairly extensive search term. Um, there's not going to be too much in the niche covering that. Um, and it goes on, basically. It goes on and on. So. Uh, there's still good potential in all these keywords that are coming. Let's have a look at the final page. Um, there's a few more here, isn't there? So in there, 112 um, decent content ideas we can pull just from doing this. And we can do this for all of your competitors as well, so, so it's interesting. So let's say that we're interested in Rolex Explorer 216570. Uh, we can then look at this search term. Uh, so we're looking at in the US, which I'd recommend targeting in the US if you're interested in getting good ad RPMs. 800 searches a month, I think that's really good. Um, I'd consider anything over 400 to be to be good. Uh, href says that keyword difficulty is easy. That is based on the links that point back to the content that ranks. And then let's go down and let's have, let's have a look who ranks. So this is a highly specific um, focused keyword. And we can see if we're looking at the uh, the URLs that that's optimized for it, that's optimized for it, so is that, so is that, so is that. After that, there's a bit of a gap. There is um, that's a buying guide. This one's uh, poorly structured URL there, basically. Um, so yeah, you can see where the traffic goes for each of these. Um, the person searching this term probably is looking with buy and intent rather than actually a guide. So the, first, the one that ranks the top is a place where you can buy it. After that, it's informational. Uh, I'd encourage you to, to click in, have a look at the content as well, get an understanding for uh, what the content actually is. So this looks uh, like an informational kind of review or buyer's guide around the watch. So unique pictures good amount of copy here so probably looking at 1500 2000 words there and lots of unique pictures so this is something I think that I could create good content around um, and rank for that term on the first page there uh, so that is something that's how I'd qualify in an idea and I'd also I would look at the actual search and um, the, the competition available for this as well so let's go back to Google and uh, I'm going to do it up here actually. If we look at um, all in title for this, so what I want to do is basically show you if we if we search all in title here and then the exact keyword that we're going for, this shows us the number of results that turn up uh, in Google, and they're actually quite a lot. It's 1,700, so um, this, yeah, it's an interesting one. So this one, there's, there's a lot of information coming back from Google with that in the title, which if it's in the title, it typically shows that that's something that um, Google is, that, that content has been optimized for. Um, but because this is a product as well, it does complicate the waters there. So I wouldn't worry too much about seeing that there, but I'm just showing you this is a way that I check for competition. Uh, let's try and find that on a I don't know if we're going to find a different term because all of these look like product related ones, but let's try and find something else. 
and, and give you something to compare it against. So if we went for, let's have a look at this term as an example. So Richard Mille, school watch price. So this is informational content, 200 searches a month, uh, focused in the US. And then we can see the content that ranks for it. Um, so this is hands-on with the, uh, the price in the watch. So someone that's had a look at the watch and reviewed it basically, and at some point in there, they're referencing the price. So if we were gonna make content specifically around the price for this watch, um, let's do this search and let's have a look at doing an all in title search for this exact key term and it pulls back zero results. So no one has, has really optimized content for that specific keyword. So if we create content specifically for that, then um, there isn't really any competition that's targeted just around that term. Uh, you do have to remember as well that when you target a key term, you're gonna rank for multiple key terms as well. So this article here that's ranking, well in this traffic is ranking for 88 different key terms. This next one that has that, um, got content uh, that put, comes for that term is ranking for almost 60 key, key terms, keywords. So you're always gonna get additional keywords that rank and additional traffic. So this one is a little bit low, but still as an example, um, this is something uh, with low competition that you can create content for around in that niche um, done from the competitive research on this site here. So look, find your competition, look at the top pages, run through, look at their top keywords, understand their content, get an idea of the traffic that can come in, uh, limit it, you know, over 400 views a month. Um, and then you can do this with, you know, your main five, six, seven, eight competitors. And all of a sudden you'll realize that you've got content which has um, good traffic potential. Uh, you can look at the competition. Uh, you can get an idea if you could rank for it. You can, uh, you can look at their content and get an idea for what you would need to create to, to rank for it. Is it long enough? Um, what kind of stuff is the, is the user actually looking for? So you need to read it, understand it. And in theory, the content you need to create, you need to look at the front page of Google, understand everything that Google showed in the, uh, the, the searcher and create one article that includes all of that information in the in the best way for the for the searcher basically so you're trying to um basically get match the search intent for the for the person that's that's googling that term and you're trying to get the number one spot you're trying to uh, hit search success basically you're trying to give them exactly what they want in the easiest way possible um, and then typically um you're going to show ads or you're going to have affiliate links in that content Okay, so that is the competitor side of things. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's documented in here. If you read things better, you want to go through it step by step. The other side is the keyword research, basically. So if you have an idea of topics that you already want to write about, but you want to understand the competition around it, we can do that as well. So let's um, just close some of these tabs down. So if you know that you want to write about um, the Omega Moon Watch, but you're not too sure how you're gonna create content that's gonna be able to rank for it. We can put it in the um, Ahrefs Keyword Explorer and this term at the top level, 2.9 thousand searches a month. It's, it says it's relatively hard to, well, sorry, it's medium to rank for, but for a new site that is gonna be difficult. Globally, there's lots of traffic coming in from different countries as well. Um, and then if we look at the surf for it, if we go down here, you can see the traffic potential that comes through can be massive um, for this term, but this term isn't something that we're gonna be able to create content and rank for. We're gonna to have to go for something longer um, and you get the ideas of the sites. Uh, they're all gonna be the, the top DR sites basically. Apart from that one, that's interesting. Uh, jazz time, not too sure what that is, uh, but that's, that's an interesting one. No links either, so that is interesting. So at this stage, we're like, what can we, um, find to create, uh, what terms can we find basically? So uh, there's different ways we can look at this. Just on this view here, we can look at some of the questions. So Swatch Amiga Watch, where to buy, 400 searches a month. We could straight away just have a look at that, uh, get an understanding for the competition around that. So let's have a quick look at the SERP. Big traffic potential on some of them. Um, but it does come through saying it's a medium one, it recommends that we need about 13 links for that. Let's just have a quick look at the all in title for it.
uh, and there's one search result coming up. So that is something I would potentially create content for. I think that's quite a good one. Uh, we can look through additional keywords here. And the options are kind of endless here. So if we're a new site, I would limit the keyword difficulty to something like 10. Um, because these terms basically, Ahrefs is showing us that the uh, results that are showing on the first page typically have a lot of links. So setting it to 10 will help remove a lot of that. Um, and then it will give us a list of keywords here. So it's 49 keywords. You can see the volume here soon disappears when we're looking at some of these. We probably don't want to go too long. But uh, So Moonwatch 2021, that's dated at the time of us uh, looking at this. But uh, there's a super long tail one here, which is looking at the full reference product name of one watch. So 250 searches a month. Interesting one. So that is very long tail, highly specific. Let's have a look at that one. So I think it's about a thousand globally, picking up from lots of different countries. Um, traffic goes to a variation of different sites there. Wow, it's very long, isn't it? Let's have a look at the all-in title for this. I'll be surprised if there's lots of content around this. Um, 500, uh, wrong. So it's, it's a very specific product name. So probably not going to go for that one. But let's have a look at other options. So uh, bear in mind we have got the keyword difficulty set to quite low there. We can still look around lots of different things. So if we want to focus on moon watch we can we can jot down into that um, and let's let's lift this a bit just to ease this process and help me supply a bit of value to you uh, so the keyword difficult we do want to keep low but we want to also want to find some good words here so uh, a lot of them you know you get the idea of intent here so swatch and amiga made a watch called a moon swatch so there's lots to talk around that at the minute, it's a popular topic. Um, people looking around a price for sale, where to buy. So content, there is search intent around people understanding where to buy these, these watches. So that could be something you could make and incorporate. And as an example, if we did that, if we focused on or looked at, uh, if we look at this one, Omega Moon Watch, where to buy. So I know we already could look at that. If we looked at that, we could create some content around this. We know that it's limited. Um, competition for it already. Uh, one, because it's a new topic. One, because we did that all in title check. And another, we can actually pick up and we can look at the FAQ surrounding this term. So one thing that you could look at doing is basically this term gets searched 400 times a month. This one gets searched 150 times a month. This one gets searched 40 times a month. This one, 30, etc. Um, what you could do is you could create informational content around uh, uh, the Swatch Omega Moon Watch, where to buy it as an example. And then at the bottom of the article, you can have an FAQ uh, that answers these. So copy these questions in directly, answer them in that one short paragraph, and basically you can probably rank well. Uh, you, you know, you'll capture those 40 searches a month, you'll capture those 30 just by doing FAQ content on the bottom of your article. I'd recommend that you use FAQ Schema if you're unsure what it means uh, and using WordPress. Yoast has a plugin which can help that help uh, wrap that schema around the content for you. Um, that will help you um, get into the kind of the rich version of Google where the FAQ will show um, on Google. I don't know if we we'll, can find a good example. So these kind of things. So it'll help you score these and then link through basically. Uh, so that's something that you can do. And then also you could look around other terms around the Omega Moonwatch and include additional questions. So if we if we if we're creating some content around where to buy, we can look at additional questions. Don't worry about the KD for them, but you can see there's lots of questions that get, you know, zero to ten searches a month, but they still have value. You know, whether or not it, it is six, seven people, you're still going to get those searches each month. You're still going to help your content rank for additional terms. You're going to help build the length out of it, etc. So you can include bits like that. Uh, you could also um, go through, if we're looking at where to buy, if we go to the overview section here, we can look at the content that ranks well in Google, get an understanding for what, what we're actually seeing. So we've seen e-commerce stuff here. So the Swatch Shop himself, eBay, uh, Gear Patrol, not too sure what that is. That is getting a good amount of traffic. So let's have a look at that one. 
So this looks like informational content, not too long either. That might be six, seven, eight hundred words just explaining where to buy it. So this is pretty much what I'm saying to buy, um, what, what I'm saying to build basically, build content around it. But I would say let's do it long form so that we know we're going to rank well, we're going to rank well for a good period of time. So maybe 2,000 words and an FAQ section on the bottom explaining where it's available to buy at the minute, where it could be available to buy in the future. Um, that kind of stuff, how to get hold of one basically. So, uh, And then this process you can kind of rinse and repeat with different terms. Um, I'm going to go through all these different sections. So this tool, I really like it. The, you know, the indicate the volumes are indications. They're not perfect. It will change over time. You will get graphs to show you. Um, the Ahrefs tool itself uh, is very good. If you have no um, budget for it at all, I do have a recommendation. So there is, uh, let's find it. There is a free version of Ahrefs, which is limited, but is still very good so free keyword research tools if you just want to understand volumes then I would really recommend this this tool if you have no budget so hrefs keyword research generator so you can look at Omega Moon Watch in here looking at United States find keyword it might make you answer a capture every now and then um, and then you're getting the volume straight out of it and the keyword difficulty for free. You're not having to pay for it. You've got to go in each time and do it, but and you're not getting the full results. But for free, this is this is the tool I would recommend. I would recommend using. Um, again, there's other elements that we we explain in this guide here on on displayads.info, which run you through different keyword research tools and and parts of Ahrefs free tools that you can use. Um, just to get you going, um, but we do have the full guide of our keyword research process and how to use it. Um, and also, once you've got that term, how to optimize your content for it. We've written the guide here on how to apply that term to your uh, web page to help it rank. Okay, um, so that's all we want to go through for now. Um, if you haven't seen it, we do have a, a case study on displays the info which runs you through growing a website and, and getting it to rank well and getting it to um, return good ad returns um, so i'd recommend that you have a look at that and that's all for now thanks for watching